and you minimize that conflict by minimizing unnecessary contact. That's how to start. That's the formula for starting, because we are used to mistreating each other. So the first thing we do to get out of that, what we are used to, we don't make contact with each other except for a constructive reason. All the non-white people, you know, there are people who are killed at Christmas parties. We kind of we don't know how to interact with each other. So since we can't learn and instantly, we can start by just not being at the party. You know, no, we don't intend. You know, black male and black one black male, one black female. That's a party. If a third person shows up, according to the code. It becomes a constructive business meeting. We don't have parties in the traditional sense. No more. Because we're not eligible. We don't know how to act. So we don't take chances on this. We don't do that roulette wheel thing about the parties. Hope that something doesn't go wrong. No. Just stop it all together. One male and one female, that's party enough. That's enough damage right there. But if a third person is present, it's not supposed to be a party. If it's three black people, whether it's standing on a corner or in a living room on a Sunday morning or a Saturday night, it's not supposed to be a party. It's supposed to be a business meeting with an agenda and a constructive agenda at that. Otherwise, no three black people are supposed to be talking to each other about anything except that frame of reference. If it's three of them, that's it. Now, if it's two, then they can kind of make silly talk or something like that because only two people can. Two people can only it'll minimize damage. Two people can be disruptive to each other and harmful to each other, but it will minimize it. Because at some point, two people have to get together anyway. But you have to have a kind of constructive agenda for that, allowing for sexual intercourse. That's how it's written in the code book, mm. male and female. Now, but if it's a third person present for any reason, that reason should always be this is a business meeting. And it's constructive business, even if it's no more than just talking about how to go about next Saturday painting the garage. you got three black people talking. All of that talk should be about something, doing something constructive, or it shouldn't be a conversation at all between any three black people ever. No conversation, period. It's, you know, if what we call conversation in general. Greetings, yes, that'll be allowed. Mm. You know, good morning, good evening, you know. And that's it. But anything beyond that, anything, you know, if you say anything beyond that, it's supposed to be constructive conversation. Thought out in advance. I've been looking for you. For well, about a week now, I've been trying to get in contact with you. Now, I have some questions to ask, or you know, or I want to talk to you about something that I've been thinking about. All constructive. Three, four, five, six black people sitting in a living room on a Saturday night. Hey, you know, we're just not drifting in here and just mm-hmm. sitting and looking at each other and then start pouring some drinks or snorting some coke or whatever. Or just sitting here, I mean, talking about anything that happens to come up, what we call socializing. No, that is an absolute no-no, totally. I've told people that for years. I don't participate in that type of thing, and I advocate that nobody else does ever. (laughs) Based on what? Logic. What are you doing it for? Well, I mean, you know, we, yeah, you know, this is our tribal conditions, uh, our tribal traditions and whatnot, and our customs. Are, your customs is what has got you where you are now. 
which is nowhere. You need some new customs. Otherwise, it's going, you know, after about three hours of our Saturday morning customs, we're going to have yellow tape all around this block. <clears throat> That's what our customs show that we get from our traditions. Not every time, but too many times. So therefore, hey, not coming over and sitting in your living room on those Saturday morning for nothing. Unless I come there with a constructive plan for getting something accomplished. It's going to benefit you or me or both of us. Well, I'm not going to be there. We have nothing to say. And that's a message that should go everywhere, to every village in Nigeria or wherever. Just sitting around sitting around the fire, watching the fire and making small talk. No. Go somewhere and do some work. And when you think of something constructive to say, pass on some constructive information, then you go looking for the other person, and only then. And as soon as the information is passed, break contact. Otherwise, it's going to lead to trouble. <laughs>